Hi, my name is Robert, and today I'll be showing you here how you can uh, create a Git Drown in um, SQL Server reporting services. So let's create here our new project. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, Report Server Project Wizard. Uh, let's call this report here um, Drill Down. I can click OK. Uh, I'll be following here the wizard. So next, let's edit here so we can choose the server name and the database name. So we're using the Northwind SQL English. We can test the connection. The connection is OK. OK, next, let's go into the Query Builder now. Um, we will enter the Query Designer and the tables we're going to be adding here uh, are the uh, categories and also uh, products. So we can close this and we just want the category name and the product name. We don't need more than that, you know, just for this uh, simple example. And here you can choose uh, now uh, to group it, but you can do it later. But to uh, make our life easier, we're going to group now uh, by category name and the detail is going to be the uh, product name. So I can move next. You could now obviously choose, you know, your table styles, etc. But in this particular case, it doesn't really matter. So we can simply uh, finish this. Uh, we already have here our sort of a simple table. So let's expand this a little bit and we already have our fields here. So, like I said, I want to uh, categorize this uh, by the category name and I want to use the uh, category uh, to work as uh, a, a drill down. So let's just debug this quickly so you can have an idea how it looks like at the moment uh, so that you have an idea how it will look like afterwards. So as you can see, uh, right now we have here beverages and then we have a list of all the products. But then obviously you have a, sort of a slight problem because everything sort of is, is running and maybe you don't want to see everything sort of uh, in one go. So let's uh, close this. And uh, first thing, let's just check the name of this field because that's the field, you know, we're going to be uh, using uh, um, as the drill down. I mean, if you point to it, as you can see, it shows the name. The name is category name and the type is a text box. But you can also go to properties and then you will see uh, the name here, um, category name. Let's just add the uh, prefix txt uh, because by doing so, we identify that this is a text box uh, object. Now, the next thing you, you got to do is to uh, select uh, the line uh, of your details and then you go to properties uh, and under visibility we're gonna put here as being uh, hidden as being true because you know as soon as you run a report all the details are going to be hidden and then a toggle item is going to be the text category name so with that done uh, we can now run uh, our report here and what we should have now as you can see uh, is uh, are the drill downs so you can simply expand you know as you like now another thing you could do here um, it's something like this um, let's change uh, for example our uh, data here so in this particular case let's suppose we don't want the category name uh, anymore so um, we can uh, exclude this we, we just want uh, the product name itself so let's go back to uh, layout and then here, uh, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change here the properties and the field value. Obviously, we don't have the uh, uh, category name anymore because we got rid of that. So we're going to put the product name. Now, if you run here uh, the preview, oops, that was um, a slight problem here. Um, let's go here to properties. I think I know where it is because previously uh, we had chosen here the visibility as the text uh, category name. So we're just going to get rid of this uh, false. And we don't want any uh, toggle item here. So um, this time we should. Okay. Uh, we still have stuff here. Now we need to sort of uh, get rid of. Let's see if there are. Yes, there are more. But it's actually it's a good exercise because obviously if you sort of amending later on, you might find yourself uh, uh, in the same uh, sort of uh, situation. So let's add here the fields uh, product name and then the sorting is going to be uh, by the fields product name as well. So hopefully now it should fix the problem. Yes, now it's fixed the problem. But as you can see, now we have every single product. And the idea here now is that we're going to use 
uh, uh, this grouping uh, to show by um, each letter of the product. So in this particular case, I'm going to go back and select uh, just this view, uh, go back here to properties. And then under value, uh, I'm going to go uh, to expression. And here using the function uh, left, I will just remove uh, the first letter. And then uh, we can use the uppercase function uh, to make this letter in uppercase. So let's copy this so we can copy this and click OK. And now we go uh, to the grouping itself. We're going to edit uh, by right clicking, of course. We're going to add edit this. And here we're going to simply paste uh, the formula we had copied. So we just add the uh, equal sign here. And then the sorting is going to be uh, the same stuff. So I just paste you know, the formula uh, I had copied. So OK. And now we can uh, preview this. Um, now, as you can see, everything is grouped by the letter of the uh, alphabet. But obviously, that's not uh, exactly how we want it. We want to create a drill down for this. Uh, and finally, we just select the line uh, of the, um, the details. And then we go to properties. And in the same way we did previously, we go to visibility. And we choose true. And the toggle item. Uh, is going to be the text category name, which is uh, this one, which is now actually the product name. If you want, you can actually uh, change this uh, just to make sure. So let's change this uh, text instead of being category. Let's call it uh, prod name. And obviously, we have to go back and change here uh, the properties to make sure that the uh, visibility uh, for the toggle item is showing instead of category, but the product. Okay, so we can debug this and hopefully uh, everything should be all right. Let's expand this. And as you can see, we now have all the letters uh, of the alphabet. And then you can just choose, say, letter C, and then you can expand that, letter B, uh, letter A, etc. So as you see, it's actually very straightforward. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, my name is Robert.